<laughs> Welcome to Smoking Grill Lounge. I'm Eric. I'm Greg. And tonight we are going to review the uh, Macanudo Hampton Court, the good old standby, tried and true Hampton Court. We're doing something a little different tonight. Uh, uh, this was uh, Greg's kind of first cigar, and it's like one of his favorite cigars. So we uh, it is just decided to let Greg sit in on the review tonight. And this is one of those uh, sticks you can pick up any time. You it know, it's sure mild. Is. It's not too heavy. This one's got a great draw. I know you drew yours out a little bit with mm. the perfect draw, which is a fine tool. Um, we have about one out, of, one out of five of these, I think. I, I have to poke a little bit you know, to get them to smoke It's up. probably true with any cigar. You know, they're hand-rolled, they're handmade. Not every one can be, you know, perfection. Especially if it's, you know, on the thigh of one of these ladies. You know, there's... Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. You know. Well, the Hampton Court is a... Uh, it's, it's really one of the... Probably one of the best selling, if not the best selling <laughs> cigars around, I would say. But uh, it's uh, it's comprised of a uh, Dominican uh, fillers, Mexican binder, and uh, Connecticut shade wrapper. And uh, Mexican wrapper. We we haven't had a lot of Mexican wrappers in this. It's stuff Mexican been, binder. Oh, binder. I thought you said wrapper. Sorry. No, binder. Connecticut Honestly. shade wrapper. Yeah. We haven't had a lot of Mexican f anything. And most of the stuff we've been reviewing over the last year, maybe one or two. Yeah, we get so, some, yeah, we use some Mexican wrappers on some stuff. Yeah, shows you how much I pay attention. I'm just sitting behind the camera usually, so. That's probably you know, true. Yeah, editing, no, it's like droning after a while. It's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> listening to Dave and you guys go on and on. Fixing you know, our faux pas. Getting and, your palates with, you know, all your tasty tastes and, and all that. <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> so, um. Anyway, we got kind of a nice uh, kind of paper sacky, but it's a little, it's actually oiling up a little bit too on the uh, on That's the initial. Yeah. Is it oiling up at all? Mine's yeah, kind of oiling bit. up quite a, a bit. A little bit, yeah. Maybe it's because my hands are oily, I don't know. You were working on your truck when I got here, or your Jeep, so. That's true, yeah. You know. And you had to go, you know, doll up before we went on camera, so, you know, running your hands through your hair and everything, you might have been a little oily. Could be, yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on the initial light, did you get anything special on the initial light? What kind of flavors are you getting there? You know, it's so mild, and my palate is not as refined as yours and Dave's, and you know, I've struggled with that on, you know, sitting behind the camera smoking. That I don't always think about those descriptors. You know, I know my foreplay. It just felt really nice. I don't know, you know, the humidors that you got it out of as a, as a regular small shop or a big shop, but uh, a little bit of pepper, mm. maybe just a little tang. I got these cigars tonight from the, the fine folks at High Times Wine Cellars. There you go. That's very where we got very our, nice our place on 17th tonight. Street and Costa Mesa, right? That's right. Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah. It's almost so big between all the beer and wine and everything else that's there, you you forget that sometimes there's they have got cigars every, in there. If, if it's got alcohol in it, they have it. They have it, yeah. It's a great place. Yeah. It's I've amazing. actually been sent there, you know, in holiday times to pick up the big order. Sure. You know, because they do have everything. Yeah, everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, a little you know, little uh, pepper, maybe a little. You know, I don't want to say tarty so much. It's just there's a little tingle on my tongue. Okay. And in the retrohale, I'm not getting a lot. And still, I'm learning to retrohale. That was something new that I've been you know trying with you guys. Because um, I've been kind of a mellow, you know, play poker smoker, sometimes studying for my exams smoker, but not a real heavy everyday smoker like you guys. So, um, but I've always liked mac and noodles. That's where I started. And they, you know, weren't too heavy, you know. So uh, it was kind of a mild, nice cigar. You know? I could pick this up anytime. Not worry about needing a bunch of chocolate or soda to take an edge off. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a very, very mild, mild cigar. Very delicate flavors to it and then, uh, aromas. <laughs> and I'm not choking on this cigar. I actually <coughs> had a bit of a cough today. Sorry. It's okay. Don't want to look like an amateur here, you know. <laughs> No, it's okay. You, you can, Too late. You can inhale it if yeah, you want. Yeah, I've got my tiki torches, you know. Oh, right, there you go. Um, yeah, you know, so it's, uh, you know, a little, very lightly sweet and, and tart on the palate. And uh, a little a little tart on the retrohale. I'm getting a little bit of kind of sour tartness. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll sweetness. pick up a little bit as we go. I mean, it's, yeah. like I say, I, I don't expect a lot out of these. These are not mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, Dan, our... Uh, Bulldog Dan, I guess we're calling him, or uh, uh, he brought me 
a Cuban the other night when he came back from Japan. And, you know, I haven't been that impressed with some of the Cubans I've, I've been given lately, but that thing, I don't know, that little, that little one, Pedro, was it a Pedro? Well, that was a Partagas D6. Part, that was good. Yeah, it was a good I got to slip him some cash, give me some more of those. Those, those were good. You have to go to Japan to get them, I think. Yeah, well, he goes a lot. Yeah, you know, that's true. So he'll, he'll have a chance to do that. Yeah. And, you know, he's not running from the country, you know, after the election like some, but he travels there a lot and he did some. <laughs> <laughs> where, where was Dave tonight? Uh, Dave flew to uh, Toronto. He's not searching for housing or anything, is he? No, I don't think no. so, no. <laughs> he's, he's working. Yeah. Well, even election night, he had to leave here early to go work. Yeah, yeah he did. And the night we were going to shoot, and part of that, you know, he was... Um, you know, he couldn't make it. Yeah. And uh, and I'm trying, like I say, I, one of my favorite cigars here. I We need to, I know it's a punk, you call it a punk, but we really should do the La Nutra. Is that what they, what they call it in Germany? The natural? Uh, La Routen. La Routen. Yeah. Oh, they, they, they can't uh, say natural in Japan or uh, Germany. So so Director Greg likes the uh, Drew Estates Natural E, uh, the Dirt Torpedo side. That's his fl favorite it is. It, it's and so uh, when when he's smoking those, of course, we refer to them as punks. And I've smoked yeah. some of the other line. That dirt torpedo is the one it hits for me. I've tried some of the other dirts. They don't have the same taste, and, and I really like it. So, and I have no qualms in saying that. I will not apologize. There you go, unapologetic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to smoke these down, and we will uh, we'll we'll catch you back during the uh, review portion. See you soon. Peace out. Welcome back to the Smoking Grill Lounge. We are uh, reviewing the uh, Macanudo, uh, this is the court, Hampton Court. Hampton Court. We have Director Greg sitting in with us tonight. Uh, Dave was called out of the area. So, uh, and this is one of Greg's go-to uh, favorite cigars from yeah. way back when. And this cigar has been, you know, it's been a, in production for many, 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 many years. It's and, a safe uh, cigar that's going to last all the FDA crap because it's been around. It's a safe one. So, uh, and we, you know, we like this cigar. It's a, I, I recently revisited it, and so that's part of the reason why also we're reviewing it tonight, too. Yeah, the Macam Noodle is a fairly popular uh, line in general. I was talking to my local uh, purveyor of cigars. Your local tobacconist? My local tobacconist. He doesn't have a huge... Uh, humidor, but he, he does a good business. He's a nice guy, and I was asking him the other day what some of the top cigars are, and the Macanoodle's right in that line because for a lot of new smokers, it is f fairly mild. Uh, and I got a few different flavors in this, and you see, I'm I'm getting down to a stub here. Um, I'd say my the ash stayed; it burned pretty well. Uh, it, it went out a couple times when, when we were talking, mm -hmm. but. Uh, what kind of what kind of flavors were you getting from this thing? Well, let me look it up. Kind of I know aromas. I got some leather towards the end, right. uh, which I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to get any of that. <clears throat> well, mine, um, well, you're looking yours up. So I, mine started yeah. off with that kind of tart, very muted sweetness, uh, a little kind of citrus tanginess to it. Um, maybe a little bit of uh, slight pepper on the on the nose, but not uh, it's not prohibitive amount. Um, <clears throat> and it, it became a little leathery uh, toward the middle, and um, but just kind of held those other flavors through. And at the end, I was actually getting a little bit of this uh, kind of putrid endol going on. Um, you know, not a bad putrid, just kind of like a rotten trash kind of thing. Wasn't the kind of typical thing you get when you get way down there and all everything's been drawn together? And... Not always. I mean, this is pretty, fairly rare for me to get oh, the okay. putrid endol, but uh, it was there. Um, but it's still the other, some of the other uh, descriptors kind of held steady in there with the leather and the, some of the other. You see, that, and what you say is probably what, when I get to the point where a lot of times I lay my cigar down, I think Dave talked about someone, you might remember who it was, who, who believed you have a first third, a second third, and then you lay it down. You don't smoke the end of it. Some people, yeah, they don't um, go too far down. Yeah. And I'm kind of like that. Sometimes that's when the, it gets too strong for me. Everything's supposed to have been drawn together. Uh, and I, I think I might, because I lit it a couple of times and really puffed <clears> hard <throat> on it, I started to pull a lot of that in and it got a little white hot on me. Uh, probably my fault for just kind of puffing it hard. But I got some of that tartness. 
Um, and the retro hail, still a little bit of that peppery, but then the leather, like you said, came up at the end. But overall, a nice, mild, uh, relaxing smoke. Like I said, I could pull one of these out of the humidor anytime and, and probably feel like I'm going to get a, a good, nice smoke. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I was puffing on one of these today. I, I took a, a cruise down the coast in my Jeep, you know, and was puffing on one of these. It's, you know, it's a nice cigar to drive with, or it's probably like a good, uh, you know, golf cigar. Or, yeah. You know, I, I definitely smoke this outdoors, you know. Yeah, and I wouldn't say this would be real offensive to maybe some non-cigar smokers. It's not very pungent. Yeah, it's not a real know? strong, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely a safe. It'd be a great cigar to relight uh, on a cigar or yep. in a, uh, smoking in a, while you're playing the, the golf course. Or, yeah. You know, if we could still smoke in the bowling alley, this is probably what I'd smoke in Good a bowling, bowling alley. Good bowling alley cigar. Yeah, but unfortunately... Maybe even the court, yeah. you know, out on the court. Sh you, sure. Yeah, yeah well, that would be great with the court, yeah. yeah. So uh, you want to rate this cigar? Yeah. I, well, I, do you remember how much we should give them uh, an idea uh, of what it costs? They're kind of eight, eight fifty. Yeah, that sounds about right. In California, here. I'd probably go because I don't have a real refined palate yet, and I but I am trying some different stuff these days. Not as much, you know, a lot more than I used to. I'd probably go a seven because I have tasted much better stuff now, but I feel seven's a pretty pretty good place for me to be on this because I okay. did enjoy it a lot. All right, well, um, this is about, I don't, know. I don't know, this is probably a little over an hour burn time. I think we've been probably about an hour and 20 minutes oh, the or clock is like working. That. Yeah. It's working. It's just I, slow. I thought it was stuck. The power was out today. <laughs> I just haven't reset it. Um, so bang for buck. I'd, I'd give us about a six and a half, probably, mm -hmm. uh, bang for buck. But certainly would, you know, if you haven't smoked one of these in a while, folks, because I know there's a ton of cigars out there, and we're all, especially all this new stuff, and, you know, we're all just puffing away on all this great stuff that's coming out. Um, I would, you know, re revisit the cigar. I definitely would, would put it up in the revisit category and, uh, you know, keep, keep it in your, uh, your thought process, especially the, again yeah. for an, acti an activity cigar. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or if you want to give something to a new smoker. Yeah. It's good for an, a good recommendation for a new smoker. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, social media, we're uh, Smoking well, Gorilla we're... on uh, Instagram, uh, Smoking Gorilla Lounge on Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. Uh, G or whatever the Google Google one, Plus Google Plus. Yep, Dave and, usually does this. Yeah, thing. and then and Twitter's then, the one different one. Twitter's just smoking gorilla. You think I know because I put all these graphics when I edit, but I just keep repeating the same yeah. graphic because it's yeah. always the same thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can find search smoking gorilla lounge. You will find our website, all of our different social medias. Subscribe, so, subscribe and like on YouTube, um, and comment about what you think about uh, Director Greg on camera too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I shaved my beard down. You know, it was almost. Uh, there, should I stand up? In my military days here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, uh, this is uh, this has been uh, Eric and Director Greg bringing the truth to the world, one cigar at a time. Thanks for watching.